So I started playing Black Myth Wukong on Monday when it came out. I'm really enjoying the game. I've only probably got about two hours or so into the game and I'm really enjoying it. But do you guys remember back uh, in November of last year, IGN released an article saying how Black Myth Wukong's developer's history of sexism is complicating its journey to the West. I believe there's actually a YouTube channel uh, talking about um, the mistranslations that they were doing, right? I believe one of them was actually uh, saying that is actually... Um, talking about how there's i'm not sure it actually says here but yeah, yeah right over here right uh this this is the i believe the ceo right over here and this is the really really bad translation right over here and it says i want to expand my circle of and hire more people get licked until i can't get an erection which is completely untrue he basically says that the he wants to hire a bunch of people around him but he feels like he's gonna get brown nose which is the actual translation this translation right over here is extremely disingenuous which is insane now if you actually go over here these are the people who wrote it uh, sorry uh wrote it rebecca valentine and ki hoon chan which is both have privated their account on x now if you actually go to the next article right here i do want to bring up this is our uh, recently in two days ago black myth wukong has some bonkers streamer guidelines about not using the game to spread feminist propaganda or discuss anything about china now in my opinion that's a good thing right you just want to talk about the game you shouldn't talk about anything that has to do with uh you know female like feminist propaganda you shouldn't have to talk about the you know COVID uh COVID 19 you shouldn't have to talk about politics what is good and what's not good about the game why are you rating the game really really good right screen rant most recently gave it a three out of five is because it's saying that it's not diverse enough this mythology was written back in the 1500s okay uh, journey to the west has been out for a very 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 long time and the thing is it is diverse in creatures okay it's it's as humans in it as creatures in it that's how it's diverse the fact that said this person is saying that it's not uh they, they don't want to talk about it, yeah you shouldn't have to talk about feminism in video games right this is the actual right over here uh do not insult other influencers or players do not use any offensive language or humor uh do not include politics violence nudity feminist uh, propaganda fetishization and other content that instigates a negative discourse. Do not tr use trigger words such as quarantine or isolation or COVID-19. Do not discuss content related to China's game industry, uh, policy, opinions, news, etc. Right? And it should this you should adhere to this if you want a free code to the game. If China is gonna want to give you a code to play their game, they're gonna want you to talk about the game. They're not going to want you to talk about, oh, why isn't there black people in the game? Why isn't there uh, more women in the game? Now, there are women in the game. And the thing is that these people who are complaining about not having females inside the um, Black Mifu Kong, how far did they get? I want to see how far into the game did they get with Black Mifu Kong? Because if they didn't go that far, then they wouldn't have encountered the female characters, right? Right over here, this person says, can we collectively agree not to get Black Myth Wukong? <laughs> can we collectively agree not to get Black Myth Wukong, huh? Let's check out the Steam charts. Currently, I haven't refreshed this yet. So I'm going to refresh this right now. Currently, we have 1.1 million players on Steam right now, not even on PS5. And we, in the past 15 hours, we got almost... 2.4 million people so 2.35 million people playing the game that is insane man this is the second highest played game of all time on steam right first is a uh, PUBG. this is insane right they're just super pissed off this is the actual thing over here but most recently there's this dumb article that came out says black myth wukong drops nearly 2 million players in several hours this is so disingenuous it's insane because people will play the game for a lot of like people will play the game for like six to eight hours and then what do they do they go to sleep they go to sleep right black myth wukong a new action game is in the style of elden ring and lies of p drop a ton of players in a very short time period uh let's go all right here here it is so it got up to a million v million players for one, two, three, four, five. And it went into two minutes. Okay. One, one, two, three, four, five. 
uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. At the eleventh hour of playing the game, it's reached its peak. I would say playing the game for about ten hours is pretty damn good. And then people go to sleep. Boom! Drops all the way down to two hundred thousand. And then oh, people wake up. What, what what time was this? Four UTC. Now let's go back to four UTC. Oh. Oh, 4 UTC, it goes back up. Oh, heavens me. Oh, and then it goes back down. Oh, uh, I I don't get how these people don't fall down more often by, by saying something so blatantly wrong and disingenuous about the game. Black Moon Fukong launched earlier today, adapting the classic story and Journey to the West like a Souls game, a uh, Souls-like action game in the style of Last of P, Elden Ring, and and Wo Long Fallen Dynasty, Lord of the Rings Fallen. The game is created by Chinese studios Game Science, has been highly anticipated in the years since it was first announced. That anticipation has paid off with an absolutely enormous player base. Still, the gargantuan player count that attracted on uh, PC recently decreased a huge amount, demonstrating the impact of time zones and audience demographics in Steam. It's not just time zones; it's just people go to sleep. It's not times. Yes, they do have a lot of people from China who are playing the game. This is probably one of China's biggest game that they released. That's not a gotcha. This is really good. This is a really, really big L. But the fact that you are posting something like this, saying that oh, it lost this this title is so disingenuous. It's it's just trying trying to insinuate that the game sucked, right? A lot of people don't actually go and read through the fucking article. Okay, they don't actually go and read through the entire thing. They actually read the headlines and then the byline at most, and then they skip on to the, you know, they move on with their day. This is such a blatant lie. Yeah, it is true, but it's in a way of leading the, the fact of saying that this game is a bad game after a couple hours, right? But yeah, that's crazy. I think that the game is really, really good. I'm really enjoying it. It's to be honest, it's more of a God of War game sprinkled in with a little bit of, of Souls like. It's not completely, it's more God of War than it is Souls-like, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, a lot of people are super, super mad. But let them cry, let them see, let them cope. It is what it is. You cannot doubt the fact that this game right now, as I'm speaking, has 1.1 million players right now. And that is just on Steam, not even accounting the PS5 players. That's crazy, man. See, um, let's go ahead and continue. Let's go and read the comments to see. Uh, not diverse enough in a mythology of monsters and demons. Yeah, exactly. In the uh, a game is a game that people enjoy. Exactly, man. Uh, laughs in 2.2 million players. Yep. You want to know what modern diversity does? It destroys historical accuracy. Yep, it does. Especially that's what happened with um, that's what happened with uh, what's it called again? Uh, Yasuke, um, basically saying that he's a samurai. He's not. Yeah, they broke records. Yeah, it's insane. For non-Chinese countries, this game is diverse because they rarely have Chinese people and cult or slash cultures in their games. Uh, for S, E, and E, Asia people in general. Yeah, absolutely. The thing is, this game is huge. Game Science is going to be going to be coming out with more games like this moving forward. They all, it can only get better, right? It, it can only get better. Which is, um, I'm really excited for that. I love that they tried to say the game fell off. When the player count went down completely, ignoring that China has limited amount of hours people can play games, especially children. Yeah, that's true. Uh, wasn't there a woke game that came out in the same time and had 80 players? I believe so. I believe so. Let me actually check it out. Let me actually check it out. I, I think I might have saw it earlier. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I think it's called Dustborn. All right. All right, so Black Myth Wukong currently sitting at 1.1 million players right now. Dust born. Are you ready? <laughs> Man, this is what happens when you have shitty games and woke propaganda in your game, dude. Man, see the thing is that I remember when the first time I saw Black Myth Wukong when it was supposed to be a tech demo, and that was four years ago. I lost my shit when I saw that they were doing a legit good-looking 
Sun Wukong Journey to the West game. I was super, super excited. I was excited for four years. They said that they, they weren't going to make it into the game. This is more of a Unreal Engine 5 tech demo from China. And then when they said they're actually going to be making it into a game, I lost whatever dick I had left, which is three inches. <laughs>